about the art experience that changed my life. So starting off, um, the art that I want to talk about is the Fresno Mall New Year. So at the Fresno Mall New Year, it is a uh, place, the location, it's at the Fresno Fairground. And this is every once in a year. It's in, um, it always goes for seven days, but because of COVID, they have recently changed to only four days, which will fall on the 27th. I mean, I'm sorry, the 29th, 30th, 31st, and the 1st. So the re main reason why this is, um, this uh, Mall New Year is housed because it's, it's considered um, a new year, so uh, the Hmong people would gather around and we will play dress game and we would celebrate with friends, families, so meaning we will see families and friends over there. And this is a picture of me and my friends that we all went together and we were matching. So Hmong New Year, you can match with your siblings, your sisters, and anybody that you like, actually, your mom and your dad as well, too. And it's such a fun celebration and event that is hosted. So... Um, a problem that I did face with this is that um, I think the biggest thing is um, knowing that it's for an entire day. So you would get exhausted and tired and just not, um, you wouldn't want to stay there the whole day. Like you would want to go there at 12 and maybe leave at four just because everybody is there. And the whole point of it is just to gather around. So you would just be there for a bit. And um, so the next one is talk about what made it difficult. Did anything make you question if you could do it? Um... Um, as I just stated, stated um, the only difficult thing is that it's super crowded. Um, there are a lot of people, um, be just because there are so many things to do over there, there will be different sports, like competing. There will be football, soccer, volleyball, and there will also be like pageant. So they will go for first place, second place, and third place. There's also mall dancer as well, too. So they will compete in a big group. And it's just such an ex um, a very great experience to have or to see as well, too, just because everything is so pretty. Like the outfits, it goes on with the body movement, the hand, the feet, everything about it just the clothing as well too so beautiful it's something that i think everybody should at least see it once in their lifetime so what did you eventually realize as you confront the challenge um i realized that um it's not as bad as i thought but just because um not that much younger i understand how it really is and i tend to face it and just like completely enjoy the moment um so at the end of the event um what we would do is we would um grab a last bit of food because there are food of course food drinks everything over there and uh, we would eat and walk home um i think the best thing is just that ending the night with families and we would gather at the end of the night and just like talk about what we did or like oh what we did who did we talk to and everything about it it's like yeah uh, did you succeed or fail of course this is going to be a successful event um I feel like everything about it was just an amazing time and a, a very amazing experience to have because every year is different um, something else is important to the story. So I feel like something else that people don't realize is um about the outfits that we wear there. So as um before here, um the image that you see here where the group of friends here, like you don't understand what um every piece of it, the outfit actually represents and why we wear this um outfit or oh, like what does this mean? Does it have a meaning to it? Yes, of course, it has a a meaning to every bit of it. I just um, don't think that a lot of people understand it, but I feel like once you go more uh, deep into it, you understand what the meaning of every bit of the clothing it, uh, means, like the background of it. So how did the experience change you? This is a very good question because um, I feel like this experience has changed me in many different ways because every year, as I said, is a different experience. Um, every year as I go, I grew to understand that um, it only happened once in a year. So it's something very important to my culture. Um, I feel like when you are so young and as a teenager girl, you know, like you are the girl. So of course, the big thing about this event is that um, you go out there and you basically um, try to meet new people. I'm not talking about like try to meet friends or anything like that, but we're talking about like marriage too, like meeting the right guy over there. And that's the main point of it. You know, like um, Hmong New Year is actually finding your soulmate. Um, so I feel like this experience changed me because um, my boyfriend now, like how we met was through Hmong New Year as well too. So this was an experience to have because without it, like we would have never met. So this experience changed me in so many ways. Um, what is the takeaway lesson? um I'm not too sure actually um I think just going with it and don't regret any chance that you take I guess um share the lesson and connect to the life of your audience um I think the big lesson about this is that never be afraid it 